Good day, my friends. I'd like to address specifically you who are living surrounded by problems. You have told yourself, I'm tired of being myself. Oh, if I could be born again. Oh, if I could start afresh. And did you know that this is possible? Did you know that it is possible for you to start afresh? How is it possible? I'll tell you, I'll explain to you. There is a way, a path in which you trail on, if you walk on it, you will reach a crossroad and at this crossroad you will decide your new life. You will find a new life. Jesus said the following. Just look at what he said. I am the way, the truth, and life, the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Which means if anyone wants to reach God, the Father, he needs to approach, he needs to follow, he needs to walk in the footsteps of God the Son. God the Son who leads us to God the Father. He is the way. This is why he identifies himself as the way, as the truth, as the life. It's obvious that this way this truth, this life, this new life, obviously, is only available to those who truly say, I don't know what to do anymore out of my life. I've had it with fighting. Perhaps you've been thinking, I think that really only dying, only pulling the plug in my life will I be able to rest. No, you won't rest. A problem is not solved by bringing or causing another problem. You solve a problem when you get to know the truth. When you walk in the truth. When you conduct yourself according to the truth. But what truth is this? What is the truth? Jesus is the truth. Jesus is the truth who sets free. His word, his word brings a mental, a spiritual deliverance of the heart, of the traumas, of the complexes of inferiority. They bring freedom, the freedom which people are in search of in order to start a new life. I can say this to you, and this is why I preach the gospel. I have preached the gospel for 56 years, and I do so because I tasted this truth. I tasted this truth, and I faced problems, which probably have been worse than what you're facing. But the truth of the Word of God brought me deliverance because it cannot fail. The Word of God cannot fail. The Word of a man fails. The Word of a human being can fail. But the Word of God is impossible to fail. Because God's honor, God's honor is in His Word. Imagine a person who does good, a person of character, honors the Word he has pledged. Do you think God, the author of life, the creator of all things, God Almighty will not honor His own Word? It's impossible. So he honors his word unto those who also lean, who hold on to this word. This is why he said, 
You shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. The truth sets your life free, my friends. I don't know what is the problem you're facing, whether love life or health or financial. I don't know what problem you're facing, but the truth sets free from any and every problem, gives us a chance to start afresh to start a new life, because I understand that when we have our mind, when our mind thinks according to the mind of God, when our thoughts fit perfectly with the thoughts of God, if we follow the thoughts of God, so then it is impossible to not have a new life. So the problem you're facing, the, the solution rather for it is in your hands, it's in your hands. How is it in my hands? Jesus said in the first verse which we read, Jesus said to him, I am the way, I am the way. There is no other way. He didn't say, I am a way. He said, I am the way. He didn't say, I am the right religion. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. There is no way, no truth, no life without him. It is through him we find and have access to God the Father Almighty. So, friends... There are people whom you have seen, they are or have been religious, who have prophesied faith in Jesus, professed a faith in Jesus upon the word of God. However, these people profess, speak, confess God's word. However, they practice lies. They practice corruption. They practice what is worthless, so it does not match a person to believe in something but follow the opposite. It's like marriage. How can you marry the truth but live in a lie? Is this possible? How can a person obtain the deliverance from the truth if he insists in walking in the lie? Wake up, my friend. Wake up. Your life depends on your attitude of faith. This is faith. This is why we call faith intelligent. It's not a religious faith. It's not an emotional faith. But it's an intelligent faith. When you put your intelligence, your reasoning to think, to weigh, to evaluate, to analyze, and then you take action. This action of courage which you take in relation to the truth, the truth which God presents to us, introduces to us, it's called faith. And this is what will bring us the solution to any and every problem. There are no impossibilities to the God of impossibility, the God of the Bible. There are none. So the problem which you want is here. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and life, the life. No one, no one, absolutely no one comes to the Father, to the Father, God the Father, except through me, who is God the Son. So this advice, you will see that it works.